talk about this conscious processing and unconscious processing. Uh, do they happen in parallel or do they happen partly in oh. parallel and partly in uh, Conscious happens in a horizontal way. An unconscious process happens in a quantum way. It's not uh, parallel. It's actually one after the other. Conscious process happens like a horizontal way. It's known to you. It's directly under the control of your logic. Straight. But unconscious is a quantum process. It's like a vertical line. That is not directly under your control. That doesn't happen with your logic or with your knowledge. It just happens like a quantum process. The whole world takes a quantum leap and you are with a decision. You don't even know why you did that. But when you infuse silence into this unconscious zone, slowly the line becomes a straight line. The, uh, that the entrants are removed from this unconscious zone. For example, if the entrant is removed from, if this entrant is removed, immediately this much gap becomes a conscious mind. That space, for example, let me say, that this space, the moment this entrance is removed, this space will become like this. It will become a conscious mind. It will become conscious mind. The more you remove the entrance, the more it will become conscious mind. More it will become logical. More it will become, the decisions will become clear. So as of now, it is not parallel. It is one after another. If the whole thing becomes conscious, it will become, it may become parallel. If that's the case, my question is, you say intuition happens when EP is smaller than EQ. Oh. Right? The intuition, in the intuition level, the unconscious becomes a super conscious. You start raising in this level. This is what we call super conscious. You start raising in the uh, super conscious level. The more you infuse silence into your unconscious, more it becomes superconscious. The more the superconscious continuously will be having intuition. The strength of the intuition, or the quantity and quality of the intuition depends upon the amount of silence you infuse into your unconscious zone. If you can infuse the silence into your unconscious zone completely, if you can be totally witness of all your thoughts, you will ne never have unconsciousness. You will, whole, your whole being will be superconscious. Continuously, every step you will be having intuition and clarity. Mm -hmm. Okay, then my last question is, mm -hmm. then, if that's the case, mm -hmm. if that's not even conscious processing, mm -hmm. right, what's the true source mm -hmm. of wisdom and intuition? Uh, the true source of wisdom and intuition is superconscious. Superconsciousness is the true source of wisdom and intuition which is inside of, in, in, which is in every one of you, which is the source for all the wisdom. You see, all the uh, discoveries or revelations or anything happened on the planet Earth happened only from superconsciousness. Whether it is scientific discoveries or spiritual discoveries, it happened only in the superconscious level. One thing. Any person who can, who gets intuitions related to the outer world and creates a formula to reproduce it in the outer world is scientist. Any person who gets intuition in the inner world and creates a formula to reproduce the same experience in the inner world is a rishi. Scientist is a person who gets intuitions about the outer world and creates a formula to reproduce the same in the outer world. A rishi is a person or a mystic is a person who gets intuitions in the inner world and creates a formula to reproduce the same experience in the inner space of other beings. The formula created by scientists helps in the outer world. Formulas created by mystics helps you in the inner world. What I call meditation. The formulas created by the mystics is what I call meditation. Mm. Yes. I have a question. Hello? Yes. I have a question. Um, 
Uh, first, I, I really want to thank you to be a great teacher to talk very deep things in very simple language. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think I benefit a lot. I think people here might have different uh, religious or whatever background, uh, just like I am. I'm studying a little loud. Uh, okay, I think people here might have uh, different I think people here might have a uh, different uh, religious background as I am. Uh, so it might be a little difficult for me to understand your intuition kind of state. Uh, so my question is like a simple one because I really like the way you divide your thinking process and decision process into conscious and unconscious parts. Right? So uh, I don't understand human psychology, even though I'm amazed about that. I'm sure as a master you do. And I just want to ask if that kind of process, that division of uh, conscious and unconscious, and that recognition of uh, people's suffering is more from less of awareness and control of their unconscious, does that uh, kind of agree or echo any uh, just the uh, psychology research theory, or, or, uh, or it is more from your here, just oh, you are asking. There are from uh, there are these are these concepts supported by psychology. Right, right. They are supported, and not only that, psychology is yet to catch the heights of mystics. Of course, they are going in this line. They are going in this line. Many of the statements which are uttered are supported by psychologists. Many psychologists. And as for one more thing, see the. Um, Psychology is growing. Psychology is growing. But the mystics have reached the height. Psychology is like a big, they are having a small torch and walking in a dense forest. Every day they come upon new new conclusions. The more they walk in, they come with the more deeper conclusions. But the mystics have seen the whole forest in a light of in a flash of lightning. So they know the whole map. They have presented the whole map to us. The psychology is like going with a torch and searching. Of course, they are work, they are progressing in the same line. And especially in the modern day research, lot of things they prove whatever our mystics say. Mm, thank you. Yes. One more last question. Yes. In your unconscious line, you have drawn five lines. No, 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 no. I just put my line there. At least I can say two, three million lines will be there in, our, in every one of our mind. <laughs> I just put my line. At least two, three million lines will be there. In few silence, you will erase the entrance. At least there are negative influence on your being. You don't even have to completely erase the memory. The emotional attachment to the memory, if that is reduced, that's enough. If that is reduced, naturally, that is enough. It won't create the same bad influence on your being. For example, remembering the beach is nothing wrong. But the remembering the beach, if it can create some negative emotion in you, some past incident or some uh, unhappy things which happened in your life, if it creates, if that emotion is also happened, then you are in trouble. When you infuse silence, the unnecessary emotional attachment the illogical emotional attachment to the past memories will be erased, will be removed. You can see uh, in our website we have a lot of meditation techniques, especially concentrated on this unconscious. The website is www.vidyamada.org. You can download those meditation techniques and practice there. The instructions are there, which is self-sufficient, which is self-sufficient. You can use those instructions and try to play with them. Thank you. So, I'm very happy. I enjoy it. Thank you.